Peyton got her braces off last week. I took Dutch to the orthodontist yesterday so he could get his retainer. And Peyton had to take hers out because, it, what, is it really noticeable? Um, it's not that it's, I mean, yes, it's noticeable because it, it's a metal wire that runs across my teeth. But you hear it when I talk because you, like, Let's I see. tell you, yeah. the, you want me to put it in? It's in your hand, yes, yeah. please. Can you put it back Isn't in? It's cute, it's pink. It's so cute. <laughs> cute. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, and that's how I, like, talk. It's like, it's like, I don't know, it's a like kind of a lisp. Hey, guys. Guess what I'm doing on Saturday? No, seriously. No, seriously, that's how it sounds. So I'm getting a little better with it, but I'm definitely spitting everywhere. Say, say, say hey, guys, guess what I'm doing on Saturday. That's it. Hey, guys, guess what I'm doing on Saturday? Hey, guys, say, say hey guys guess what I'm doing on Saturday? <laughs> say, but I think it's kind of ridiculous. Like, you have braces on for however long, and then they tell you you need to put a retainer in for four months straight. Like, it doesn't make any sense. Oh. We have to wear it not just overnight? Well, I only have to wear mine overnight and then, like, when it's convenient for me. But I know normal people who have braces for, like, two, two and a half years, they have to wear it 24-7. Oh, yeah. I think the, you said retainer for four months. I feel like I wore mine for, like, a few years yeah, afterwards. Yeah, well, you're supposed... They say... So what they told me is that when you first get your braces off, that you should wear your retainer for four months straight and then you can start wearing it at night for me my situation was a little different because i was only moving one tooth so they told me that i can just do it when i go to sleep do you watch that tooth to make sure it's not moving back oh like i made hawk? them put a permanent retainer on that tooth so it does not move <laughs> well then you lose the retainers i've had to deal with all that mm -hmm. so i never had braces when i was little at any rate so i woke up to a text this morning my wife said goodbye to kemp last oh. night oh no i know she said, she just texted me that she said goodbye and that Kemp was crying. Like, you know, Aww. very emotional. So she's getting on a plane today and coming home tonight. And then, but I talked to Kemp yesterday at some point and he was so happy. Like, just a different, like, he's so, like, this is what he's worked hard for to go to school and play basketball. Yeah. So he's just like, went to the gym today. Uh, he goes, I got it. We got a team meeting at noon. We got, you know, just all this stuff. And like, he's just, he's just active. And I mean, he's in Hawaii. Playing basketball, everywhere he goes is on a scooter. You know what I mean? Like yeah. it's life. It's and it's a fun life. So yeah. he's. I, I told Blake before I went to bed last night. I, I said, "Look, he's living his dream. He's happy. He's got great coaches that are taking care of him. He's got great teammates." I go, "We, it's okay." Like you know. So I don't know. We'll see how she feels when she gets on the plane. Yeah, but it's like one thing to be emotional about you know someone in your family or your kids. And then it's another thing to see your kid crying about it too. I know. Mm -hmm. Like that would take it to a whole nother level. I know, like I know. you're sad too. I want to hear about that when, yeah. when I talked to her earlier today. Um, but something happened yesterday that I, I I don't think I've done before. And while I was in the middle of doing it, I thought I want to ask you guys if you've done it before, Rich, Peyton, and Kyle. If you guys have ever done this before. So first, I don't know if I want to tell you the story that led up to it, and just point blank ask you if you've done this before. And here, I'll just ask you. Have any of you guys ever gone skinny dipping home alone? No one else is home? Yeah. Yes. You have? Oh my God, how embarrassing. Mm -hmm. No. Embarrassing? <laughs> you have? Why? Can I tell you what you have? You're yeah. By yourself? Mm hmm. Just at home. Like, I like to tan, you know, butt booty naked because then you don't get any tan lines. And then sometimes it's get hot and you just got to go jump in the pool. You have, Rich? Mm hmm. Gross. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, at night and you're just like, I bet you that pool feels good and the door's <laughs> right there by my beer room. All I got to do is go boop, boop, and I'm right there. Oh, that's so <laughs> funny. It feels really good. I mean, you take a bath without swim trunks. Yeah, There's you're, nobody you're, in the you're, backyard. You're, Nobody can see me. Yeah, but you're, I, I don't know. I at was, least I, I don't think I, they can. I, went, I worked out yesterday. <laughs> I came home from working out. I had to go pick up Dutch at a certain time. No, I picked up Dutch. I worked out. I picked up Dutch. Dutch had his driver's lesson, his last driver's class. So he passed. Now he's got to go get his driver's license, right? But Blake doesn't want him to get his driver's license until she comes home so she could be there. So we're going to go do that tomorrow, right? So, like, he wanted to go get his driver's license yesterday. Mm -hmm. He's like, can we, and I'm like, can you just wait for mom, please, God? If we go get your driver's license without her being there, it would be more emotional, you know? So I, he was taking his last driver's class and then taking his driver's test. I was home alone. I came home. I was getting out of my sweaty clothes, and I was like, oh, I just want to go jump in the hot tub and cold plunge. And I took off my clothes to go, and I couldn't find, I usually have a routine, like underwear or whatever, and I was just kind of like, ooh, I'm naked. And no one's home. Let me go. And I, went, I was like, it was such a, I was all by myself, and it was like such an ordeal. Now, for and you, like, that's and, dangerous yeah. because there's always people at your house. Yeah, yeah that's the thing. There was nobody yeah. in my house. I was like, let me go. So I get, I get like in the hot tub, 
and I'm naked, and I'm just like self-examining. Wow. Everything just there's I, the bubble. When I got to the hot tub, the bubbles weren't on, so it was just hot, and it was that there wasn't uh, bubbles. Uh-huh. So I was just like, it's like a magnifying glass in the water. And I was like, ooh, hey, oh. and then I'm just sitting there examining, and then I'm like, I hope no one can see me on the security cameras. And then, and then I was like trying to figure out where are the cameras, and can you see me in the hot tub? I'm was, surprised, like with your luck, like twenty of Dutch's friends didn't come over. Like, hey, Dutch Schultz, come over here and wait for him. I, well, right. uh, uh, because the Ness? beauty is, <laughs> school, I took him out of school to go take the driver's class. Because mm. uh, it was a long story. Oh, so you knew his friends. They were still in school. Oh, okay. That's good. School. That's good. Thank you. Yeah. Is there a reason that you just didn't want to teach him how to drive and that you hired? I did teach him how to drive. But oh, when you cool. when you take him to the driver's th- class, you get a discount on insurance. Oh. Because it's like former police officers that teach you how to drive. And then as a parent, when you got to pay your kid's insurance, it's like 20% discount. Gotcha. So they do I this. probably needed that. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. And it makes them a much better driver, and you get a, you get a discount on insurance, which That's is cool. great because I'm sure we're going to be paying it for a while. Yeah, for <laughs> sure. And then he's like, "Can you take me to the gym?" And I go, "Are you meeting some friends there?" He goes, "Yeah, I think so." What do you mean you think so? Because I know everybody. And I'm like, <laughs> "Okay." So I walk into the gym, and I'm just behind him watching him. And sure enough, the dude just starts high fiving everybody who's walking into this gym. I'm like, okay, dude, whatever. <laughs> He's anyway. the mayor, like Blake's the mayor. He's the mayor. I know. I'm like, they know man. everybody. So, the, and meanwhile, my oldest kid, Jake, is like MIA. I haven't talked to him in days. I text him. I call him. I try to FaceTime him. I get nothing from the guy, right? And then Blake's like, text me. She's like, have you talked to our oldest yet? I'm like, no, I haven't. Then a couple of hours go by, and she's like, I finally talked to him. I'm like, oh, okay, what? She's like, he was sleeping. So then he finally, he calls me and I'm like, oh my God, I feel like I won the lottery. Like what, what's going on? He's like, oh, power went out. Wi-Fi doesn't work. I can't get, I can't do my work. I'm like, how long has the power been out? Hour. Well, I've been calling you for three days. <laughs> what happened uh, yesterday? Yeah. <laughs> he's living his I life, man. He is living the college life I mean, that's in that what apartment. You, like, he's you raise him it. to be independent. They're independent. Like, I'm, like, I'm like, bro, you're an hour and a half away from me. I can go there now. You should just <laughs> pop up on him randomly. Yeah, you, better hey. start, <laughs> you better start returning my text messages or I am going to just start hanging out. Yeah. <laughs> but it is like that. I would... 